other parts that uh, reflect me is um, I really like basketball. So uh, I like going to the rec. And is that, is that someone? Sure. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, besides that, I, I, I love sustainability. <laughs> and McKenzie. I identify with that. So two things, especially this year, entities across campus. Uh, one, I was a, I'm an into the street coordinator for the Center for Community Outreach, and uh, community service, giving back, has always been one of my passions. Working with people, you know, being able to, to make their day, to put a smile on their face, is something that I that I've always enjoyed. Uh, another one is the Office of Multicultural Affairs, and I know most of you are like. You know, she's a she's a white kid from Johnson County. What is she talking about with the with the OMA? Um, but I, I was a hopping tutor, and it's just somewhere where I've always felt welcome, and I, I feel like it's just it's kind of a safe place. It's it's my safe place on campus. It's where you know I can go, and I have friends there, and it, it makes me happy. But I would also say, you know, I, I hate segmenting, and and that's one thing that I definitely dislike about campaigns is I hate segmenting campus into entities because I think that, you know, in, in just talking to people that you can always, you know, identify with them. At least for me, you know, regardless of who I'm talking to, there's always common ground somewhere. And so, you know, we're all KU students. We all have that common experience and we can all identify with each other. And Mackenzie, what question do you have for the other two candidates? Yes. Uh, my question was, how do your platforms help students succeed after, during, or before college? Morgan, you're up first. I think that students across campus can all resonate with at least one of our platforms, hopefully very many of our platforms. Um, it, it, oh, I apologize. You know, starting with just mental health. Um, you know, two-thirds of college students say that they've experienced some sort of mental illness at, you know, during their time at the university. That's very important to address. That's very important to combat. That's something that many students feel. And a lot of us on our team have felt this, and, and we resonate with it, and we want to make a difference. We want to help people with that. Um, you know, campus safety. These are things that we've heard time and time and time again for years and years since I've been here that you know, campus lighting is below par and that students don't feel safe walking home, al home alone at night. And so just making these little changes, tweaking these things, doing these things that students have been asking for for years, but the student senate hasn't pulled through for them yet, I think that really is our goal. And all of these things tied together, I think, will, you know, really benefit students now and students to come. And Kevin. Mackenzie, could you please repeat the question? <laughs> Yes, how do your platforms uh, impact the student experience or help students succeed before, during, and after college? Okay. Well, you know, right now I'm just thinking about finishing this debate, so I'm, I'm thinking right now helping students. Right now what my uh, Crimson and True can do is uh, reduce textbooks costs. Uh, this also can help their families and uh, this also can happen in the future. Well, I, I hope it happens in the future. Uh, and then uh, the Writing Center, this provides uh, assistance to students for writing essays, so this actually uh, relieves stress. And I guess this, um, I'm not, I don't guess, I know this, this will help them later in life when they actually want to learn a language or go to a different country and, and, and be a part of that culture. Uh, for the future, uh, again, I'm being a dead horse. Sustainability, this, this is for the rest of our lives and this is uh, our planet that we, we as Jayhawks should learn to love and uh, be a part of and uh, help it out. Thank you. Thank you, candidates. We will now move into the closing statements that the candidates have prepared. They'll have three minutes apiece to deliver these statements. Again, the order of these statements was randomly determined prior to the debate, and we will begin with Mackenzie Oatman of the Jayhawkers. So during this election, I've been reflecting a lot on the very first student senate meeting that I ever attended as a freshman senator. And I had just been elected, obviously, as a, as a freshman senator, and I didn't know what to expect. I had heard, you know, Student Senate, we, we talk about issues, we give some money to student groups, but I didn't really know what it was about. And I distinctly remember sitting out in the audience, 
listening to the then student body president talk about what they had accomplished over the summer, and that was decreasing general ed requirements, uh, talking about redoing Wesco Beach. And in that moment, I realized that this is more than a funding organization. This is more than Wednesday night meetings. We are the voice of students on campus. And that's important. We have the ability to not only affect change on a university level, but a local, state, and even federal level. Mitchell and I are the most experienced ticket, not only in terms of student-centered experience, but also in the diversity of our experience across the university. I truly believe that you cannot adequately advocate for students unless you've been in their shoes. There's three things that I'd like you to take away from today's debate about Jayhawkers. One, our initiatives will happen. These are not empty campaign promises. These are not things that we're running on just to win an election. These are initiatives that we're passionate about, that we are dedicated to accomplishing. Each one is not only feasible, but they will greatly impact the lives of students. Two, these initiatives stemmed from t tangible problems on campus. All of our initiatives uh, were developed in talking with not only students in our coalition, but also outside. Third, we touch students' lives in every way. With Conserve KU, we're going to make this campus more beautiful and strong for generations to come. With Strength in KU, we're going to unify students while on campus and help foster a more social and better connected student culture here at KU. Lastly, with Beyond KU, we will prepare students for when they graduate, because that's why students come to college, to be able to get a job, to be able to get those skills, get a better paying job than they would have without a degree. We have the opportunity to create a world-class career service center, expand undergraduate research opportunities, and make KU one of the most competitive research institutions in the Midwest. The role of Student Senate at KU is unique. It chronicles burning buildings, building buildings, fighting injustice, lobbying the government for change, and most importantly, ensuring that every Jayhawk has the best possible KU experience. This election is about more than buttons, more than flyers, more than chalk. It's about representing students' interests in every boardroom where decisions are made. Myself and the rest of the Jayhawkers will be leaders, not only of student fees and student issues, but leaders that will work to make the entire KU institution a more welcoming place for Jayhawks to start their journeys. Thank you. Kevin Hundelt will now speak on behalf of Crimson and True. Hi. Um, I know you guys know, uh, there's a, I guess you guys don't know a lot of uh, Crimson and True because we haven't been chalking a lot. Um, and we were late to the party, per se. Uh, the thing, what we, we try to advocate is, is we're a grassroots organization or a coalition. And we're not trying to get elected by like our, our names or, or by the efforts that we put in social media, but we, we're trying to get elected by our platforms. And, and honestly, uh, I, don't, I don't really like uh, uh, popularity contests. And I, I, I honestly, deep down in my heart, I don't think this is a popularity contest. I think students really actively want progress in our lives. And, and I think that as us, as, as student senators, that we should uh, promote positive progress and to never lose touch with any student and to, to uh, to think level-headedly on any issue that comes arises, even though that uh, I know that uh, platforms are a great thing, but the, the most important thing that student sen senate does is to react and to respond to issues that happen during the year. Uh, also, I'm sorry, uh, as as a as a 21-year-old male, um, there. You know, like there's there's a lot of, of us uh, that has been in student senate, and uh, the thing is, you know, I, I still bring that passion. I still I'm still humble, and I still I'm down to earth, humility to to really to to interact with students on a, on a, a regular basis. You know, just to say hi, shoot the fecal matter, and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and uh, when when like the question that I, I phrased. Uh, you know, when I ask these these girl, these ladies, uh, when who do you turn when you need advice? And I, I think I think, as a student body, I, I think I could be that person that uh, any student can come up to me and, and and ask. You know, you know, I got a problem. Can you help me? And honestly, I would love that if I if I became president. Um, 
you know, my, my, my future, I want to uh, 